What up, Hard Squad? There are new mystery power boxes in stores, and these ones have a one in five chance at getting a vintage hack. So I went out to Walmart. I bought not only five, I bought 14 boxes because we are going to pull a vintage pack today. I'm excited about this one, guys. Uh, but before we get into the big opening, how, how do we all feel today? This is the day after. This is the day after we pulled the rarest Pokemon card in the entire world. Like, how do I follow up a video like yesterday's video, which is not only in the description, not only on the front page of my channel, but right over here, I pulled a $55,000 Pokemon card. The one, the only, first edition Charizard. I seriously don't know what to say first off. The support has been absolutely incredible on that video. And I want to say thank you, Heart Squad. We made a difference in the world with that video, guys. I'm telling you, it was insane. Uh, but before we get into the mystery box opening, Bing the King, wait, the King of Mystery Boxes. We have to go big today. That's why I went out and got a ton of these mystery power boxes. Have I been reluctant about these boxes recently? Yes, but I'm pretty sure they watched my videos because they have just upped their game by putting it not just in one out of 20 boxes, not just in one out of 10 boxes, but one out of five boxes. You get five booster packs, two mystery items, a coin, one code card, per box. Chances to get a fire red leaf green pack. A hard gold soul silver undaunted pack. Platinum supreme victors. Neo discovery of course. You get that Charizard coin that you're probably not going to get. And it may even have sword and shield packs on the inside. Not too bad. It does officially say at the bottom. Uh, upside down. It does officially say in the bottom. Packs and products randomly inserted. Packs and products not, it may not be contained within. So they have made an upgrade per the boxes now compared to the detective kits that I opened up where they didn't say anything. So before we continue, I do have what is the four heaviest boxes. And the reason why I couldn't just go randomly into the boxes is because this box right here is insanely heavy compared to all the rest of the boxes. So what I'm going to do is definitely open up these four boxes and then get into some of the other ones if we don't have a vintage pack in the heavier box. So in a way, this is a big, big test of not only testing out how many boxes it takes to get a vintage packs, if it's really one out of five, but if these mystery items make it so where just because it's a heavier box doesn't mean there's actually a vintage pack on the inside. So I'm excited to test all this out today. Before we get going, hit the thumbs up button, guys. After yesterday's video, let's get this video to 10,000 likes, Heart Squad. These were $24.98 from Walmart each, plus tax. And I got 14 of them to test out. Obviously, wanted to let other people have some fun with them, so I didn't get all of them. But I wanted to get enough to do a video so everybody in the world can see it. Pretty excited about this. I do have to say, sorry for all the delay. There's so much to talk about. People have been sending me screenshots. Apparently somebody pulled an EX Legend Maker, I believe was the pack. That's insane if that's in there. And then other people have pulled Platinum Arceus packs, Supreme Victors packs. So by all means, I would love being the king of mystery power boxes. I would love to see them return to form like their original boxes years ago when they actually did put vintage packs on the inside. So here we go. Starting off with, no way, and right off the bat, there we go. It's not a vintage pack, but for this, it is called a vintage pack. A diamond and pearl Stormfront pack. The very first pack we opened up. That's, an, that's fantastic. Charizard, there's a chanceable Charizard in this set. All right, let's see what else we got. A sword and shield pack. Wait, wait. Cosmic Eclipse, not bad. I'm, I'm curious. Ooh, wow. This is good. Burning Shadows. I'm curious to see what the mystery items are. 
Oh, and then they went ahead and ruined the whole box with the Crimson Invasion. But if it's a Steam Siege, then it's ultimately ruined. What is this? Unified Minds. Okay. Now we have the code card. Let's see what that's actually for. Sun and Moon. Sorry about that. Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds Lightning Fruit Loops theme deck. Now I want some Fruit Loops. And are you kidding me? Did they really, for the mystery item, put a stack of energy cards that I have a whole truckload full of these things? Everybody has a truckload full of the energy cards that you get from an elite trainer box. Okay, negative 20 points for that thing. What is the other mystery item? No way! It's a Milotic! But what is that actually from? Let me get it uh, focused for everybody. From the year 2012. A holographic Milotic. I mean, I love Milotic. The card should be in a sleeve, so there's that. And not a Charizard coin. So we're going to put that over there. The mystery items, and there's the bottom of the box. The mystery items could have been way better than what they are. But I will say, the heavier box did have what is a vintage packs. Vintage extra pack. Because this is five packs. Let's get into the packs, and I promise you I'll go through the packs fairly quickly so we can get to the next box. Make sure everything's recording. Uh, we get to do the Guess the Energy! Lightning! Oops! I'm supposed to say Psychic Energy for that, so I apologize. But uh, what more can I say about how yesterday's video went? Uh, I believe I'm posting this video on my usual time, which is Sunday. But if for some reason I decide I want to give uh, the other Saturday's video, yesterday's video, a... Uh, Non-holographic, uh, just like an extra day because I did post an extra video this week on Wednesday. And this may be going up on Monday and then I'll be returning to my usual schedule, which is Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, and Sundays, uh, 1 p.m. Central, 2 Eastern, Psychic Energy. I'll fix that for y'all. And, uh, uh, but who knows? I, I do want to get this video out, but at the same time, it's just this week has been the absolute craziest week in the entire world. Uh, there's been highs, there's been lows of, you know, how things have been going on the platform. Whether it be negatively or positively, mostly negatively. And uh, I do, I, I, I thank y'all for your support and joining me, uh, Lightning Energy, on whatever day I post a video on. It really, really means a lot that y'all show up right when I post at 1 p.m. Central or later on in the day after work. It really does mean a lot. Uh, we have not hit anything yet, <laughs> um, but uh, but it's still, I can't believe we made Pokemon history in yesterday's, because today is Sunday when I'm recording this video, where we pulled the first edition Charizard uh, Leaf Energy. Thank y'all so much for the support, and all of y'all that have been messaging me and contacting me saying congratulations. It's like we all like pulled it together. It's And I promise you, Carvana na na na, I promise you. We'll continue to pay it forward to the community by doing awesome openings. And first pull of the day, Holographic Wishy Washy. And the Ultra Necrozma was very nice, the reverse. All right, so let's get into this Sword and Shield pack. And then the Diamond and Pearl Stormfront pack. That's fantastic. And this Sword and Shield base set, obviously no Rebel Clash packs will probably be in these. Fighting Energy. There we go, Pat's on back. And, uh, and by the way, a big old pat on back for us pulling that Charizard yesterday. And uh, this is Sword and Shield. I still have not pulled the legendary Golden Zacian. I still need to pull that one. Hooting the Blowfish, Pinkerchin, Vitality, Rapidash. My original goal with today's video was to basically just test out. I will be opening up as many boxes as I can in today's video as we get into this pack. I want to try to save uh, the pack art if possible. And uh, to basically see if these are legit or not. And let's see what we do in here. But I mean, I think these are great after they listened. Is this uh, how many cards? I think it's three cards. Skarmory. So I actually just opened from Nick, that uh, uh, subscriber that you know has been in some videos. He had sent us a bunch of Diamond and Pearl Stormfront packs about a, a video. Uh, what's going on with that Pichu's eyes? like two weeks ago. That video will be on the front page of the channel. We did get some incredible pulls from the packs Nick sent. These are great, like, wow. Touche Pokemon, the illustrations of the artworks are all fantastic for this set. Man, maybe I need to open up more Stormfront packs. Starly, hopefully I didn't skip the rare. 
Dusclops reverse. Is that a uncommon? But it looks like a rare. And another Charmeleon secret rare. The same one we pulled from Nick's pack. Shout out to Nick and shout out to the Heart Squad. It's been all about the fiery Pokemon. And we have pulled a secret rare Charmeleon once again. Wow, this has been incredible. This whole week has been beyond insane. We have pulled a Dark Charizard holographic as we get into... This feels really heavy. Jeez. It's going to be another energy thing. It, uh, what... We have pulled in the videos this week, even the Dunkaroos video that I did, we have pulled, and that will be in the eye probably, we pulled a uh, Team Rocket Dark Charizard Holographic and two Dark uh, Alakazams. Base set pack we opened up in like Tuesday's video. Oh my, it's just, it's been insane! Thumbs up guys, thumbs up, 10,000 likes. Let's go! All right, next up, Cosmic Eclipse. This is the test guys. Last heavy box had the Stormfront pack. Will this box, have a another burning shadows i'm liking the pack assortment unified minds crimson invasion N wait i don't think so a pell moon gx box no way well yeah there we go we got the lovely the mystery items in the coin are absolute rubbish let's just go ahead and say that but luxray yeah holographic Man, how about this though? Charmeleon Secret Rare Pull makes me so happy. So there we go, guys. Just because a box is heavy doesn't mean that you're getting the extra fat. We got lucky there. So now I'm gonna try to get into one of those uh, extra boxes that are lighter in the back and see Leaf Energy. What we can do in those, I'll try to go through these cards pretty fast so we can get right into the next box. Swablu, Crawdunt, and an Alolan Executor GX Full Art. Was that Crimson Invasion? Crimson Invasion actually gave us something. Well, there's always the first and there it is. Now we're getting into the old, oh, the rest of the packs are good packs, including Unified Minds. Uh, wow, what an insane video so far, Fighting Energy. We've already gotten the Gassy Energy today. We have pulled the first edition Charizard in yesterday's video. Dark Charizard in the video before that. It's been incredible. Seriously, it has been incredible. And I promise you guys, when we hit 1 million subscribers, not only opening up one first edition heavy pack, but we're opening up like 10 of them. And I think there's more Charizards to be pulled. Lightning Energy. So that is why it is paramount to not only subscribe to the channel, because we're fast approaching 900,000 subscribers, but please ring and unring that notification bell. Non-holographic. I tell you that because that has been what the problem is, is the notifications haven't been going out. And uh, it's bigger than that. And the video that I will be posting probably tomorrow will go way more into it. Lightning. And uh, so for now, let's just get back to what's at hand. And that is the fantastic secret rare pull that we pulled from the uh, quote unquote vintage pack. But I'm, I'm just saying what they're saying, guys. <laughs> All right, Cosmic Eclipse, hyper rare Charizard and breaks in anyone. That would just be like the cherry on top. There is the code Psychic Energy. And then we'll get right, Torgold's got the good stuff. We'll get right into the next box after this Lilup and Armaldo non so these two boxes are fairly heavy so the thing is I'm gonna actually get into the heavier ones because these aren't as heavy like I don't think there's gonna be a uh energy car pack in here so what are these other mystery items now as I destroy the box sorry I just want to get into the box all right, what are, they, what are they gonna be in the mystery items? It doesn't feel as heavy as the other ones. Ready? And another Diamond and Pearl Stormfront pack hold. What else do we got? Burning Shadows, Cosmic, Sword. There's the code, hashtag Rookie Gang, everybody. Next up, Cosmic Eclipse, a Sigalith holographic card. It's actually a very nice card 
from uh, 2012. So older holographics have, I think, been 2012. And a Crimson Invasion. Oh, I was like, where's the mystery items? Oh, yay. Genesect pin. Okay. And a Christmas tree, Xerneas coin. Well, at least the coin is better. But there we go, guys. We just pulled another quote unquote vintage pack. Let's get into these packs. We'll go through them fast, guys. Simple reminder, please do hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this video leaf energy to 10,000 likes. And I appreciate y'all watching the video. You know, just joining the heart squad. J Remoraid, peeking an Excavalier non-holographic. We did pull from our other vintage pack, a secret rare. It was fantastic. Leaf energy. All right, Golduck, Heracross, Chin. Sorry, those are just common cards. They're very slick. Oddish, Cricket, and an Arceus Dialga and Palkia. Fantastic pull. I just want to like go patch on back right now. Uh, by the way, yesterday I was shaking the entire time after I had pulled that Charizard. Any any potential false moves could have you know hurt the card. I don't want to do that. Fighting energy, um, but it was just such a momentous occasion, and I hope y'all enjoyed yesterday's video. And the streak it just continues with today's video. Chin and an ordinary rod, secret rare. Fantastic card. Was that from the Sword and Shield pack? It was. Look how beautiful that looks. Wow, wow, wow. What can I say, guys? It's the crown. And it's MJ Holding watching my other videos, calling them out, and they finally upped their game with these boxes. Four cards, fighting energy. I have a feeling these, these boxes after today's video are gonna be flying off the shelves. If you do go out, please stay safe, everybody. Bip, blip. Cosmog, Ponyta, Crabrawler, Decidueye, and an Embor. Pulls, fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna put a call in. I think we're gonna get either a Guzma or the Charizard. We're just, pull, we're just gonna pull it again, you know? Burning Shadows. Burning Shadows does have pretty difficult pull rates. Psychic Energy. Seedra. Right after this, we're getting into the other heavy box to see what we can do. Cutifla, Riolu, Rhyhorn, Tangula, Wimpod, Ledian. But we still have another Stormfront pack. Just to show you the really awesome pulls. Ordinary Rod, Arceus, Eggs, and the, the last vintage pack, a Charmeleon Secret Rare. I don't have sleeves ready just for this one. I probably should have. All right, Stormfront pack. See what we can do in this one. Three cards. And look at that. A little old school artwork for that. Poke Blower Plus, Great Ball. Very cool looking Haunter. Skorupi, Voltorb. Like, what is, what is he looking at, trees? Ghastly, Stunky. What if we pull another Charmeleon? Magnemite, Stunky and a non-holographic Gengar, but a very cool one still. Very nice pull there. So that's okay. We had the pull as we get into this other heavy box now. We had the pull from the last Stormfront pack. So two vintage packs were pulled in a secret rare. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. There goes PSA 10. Here we go, I'm expecting another. Is it gonna be another Stormfront pack? Let's see, let's see. And Sword and Shield, Lost Thunder. That's new, okay. Oh, sorry guys. There's a Crimson Invasion, but there's the code. Let's just, here's the code. Good luck to everybody, gets that. All right, here we go. Guardians Rising. I don't like these packs as much. What is this, Cosmic. And there's another pack. Another Stormfront pack. Well, well, well. Why are they all Stormfront? Where's all the other packs? <laughs> oh, there's a Go Goat phone, holographic card, and a Rayquaza pin. Very nice. I like that pin, better than the Genesect one. And is that a Pikachu coin? It is, so a Pikachu coin. Well, those were the heavy boxes. I will get into one more of the light boxes just to see if there is a chance in those lighter boxes at getting one. And if this video, Fighting Energy, 
does very, very well, then obviously I will, you know, open up more boxes for y'all. Stuffle, uh, it should do well. Coffee face, swirl, lantern, non-holographic. Get into these packs very quickly so we can get into that Stormfront pack. And then one more box. Four cards, fighting energy. Beware, uh, Slowpoke, Gumi, Rockruff, Taylo, Super Mario, whoops. Blissey, holographic card. Still can't believe we have, did we pull three vintage packs today? Wow. How about that? That's pretty crazy. Good odds. Lightning energy. Sea of nothingness. Diggersby loves to pudding. Starly. Skidoomaloo, my darling. Pikachu. J. Miss. Shellos. Beedrill. I don't see that Beedrill often. All right. Cool card. Lost under time. Uh, I basically just want to pull a Natsu. Just because. I think that would be hilarious. So, it doesn't even have to be a rare card in this one. I just want it to be Natsus, which are fairly rare on their own. Metal Energy. All right. Memory Energy, Kecleon, Lamp. Natu, how do you do? Chikorita, Snubble, Ralts, Dedene, Heracross, and Persian. Non-holographic rare. Can we get a golden card from this pack? I already put my call in, so I can't anymore. Uh, let's go with Fighting Energy. One guess the energy right today. Pokemon Center Lady, Mudbray, Ponyard, Scorbunny, Nick, Chin, Blip, and a Celebi V. Nice card, not worth too much, but I'll take it nonetheless. All right then guys, let's get into the next Stormfront pack. Three vintage packs have been pulled today. Let's begin. Three cards. Want that Charizard, guys. There's Farfetch. She's actually flying for once. That's kind of rare. Pile of Swine, Skarmory, Switch, Scroopy, Voltorb, Ghastly, Stunky, Caesar. That is a reverse rare. And Staraptor non holographic. That's okay. All right. Let's go with this box. I, I don't, they're not set up in any formation. It was just heaviest ones in the front and all the other ones. We'll, we'll see what we can get. So this is what is potentially a light box. Let's see what we can do. A Cosmic Eclipse, Crimson Invasion. Oh, sorry. There is the code. What else do we got? No! It's an Ultra Prism pack. But it is completely bent. It would be the pack. That's a really rare pack. Guardians Rising. What else do we got? Ooh, Raichu Holographic from uh, 2014. What else? Sword and Shield and the mystery item is another Rayquaza pin and a Pikachu coin. Alrighty then. I want to get into one more box uh, just to test it out, guys, and then uh, we'll see from there what happens. So here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what's in this next box. All right. Sword and Shield. Guardians Rising. Cosmic Eclipse. Lost Thunder. Crimson Invasion. Here is the code. And it looks like... Whoa, we got two pins! Whoa, we got missed. We got three mystery items in this one. Not only another Milotic. How many Milotics do they have? But we got a Rayquaza and a Latios. How do we have this? A Latios pin. How do we have this much? We just got lucky there, guys. Three mystery items. <laughs> There's the packs right there. What can we say? I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Uh, please leave a like. Check out yesterday's video. Go watch it right now. It's right over there. First edition Charizard. My name is Leanheart, the king of mystery power boxes. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.